Five normal Singaporean guys with a dream. That's all it is. Meet a vacant affair. With one album under their belts, the Hardcore Quintet are one of the heaviest Singaporean bands distributed by major record label Universal Records. The band have just gotten back from their concert in Manila and have found the time to release their first music video, which you guys will get to see in this show. Now, four out of the five members sit down with Razor TV journalist Brian De Silva for an intimate conversation about where they came from and who they are. Tell me now what exactly has become of us. That's the way we love. It's such a shame what love. My name is Hafiz, I play drums for Vacant Affair. Uh, my name is Shen, I play the bass in the band. Uh, I'm Rudy, I play guitars for Vacant Affair. Uh, my name is Matthew and I sing for the band. I want to know like the history of AVA from your perspective, like when did you come in and you know, how do you feel about coming into the band? For myself and Matt, our history is probably the longest because um, the two of us actually had a band before AVA. Uh, this really horrible band. <laughs> Me and my bassist Shun, we were in another band called Cheap Thrills. Lah. And as the band name sounds, um, we really, <laughs> we, we just played for fun, lah. pop punk for fun. Lah. So when we decided to take things seriously, you know, um, we decided to sort of ask nicely the, th the two other guitarists to leave. Lah. When they wanted to do something a bit more serious, they started looking for other people. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, I was helping them fill out for their missing guitarist. Um, with Hafiz, I was jamming with him a, quite a bit before that. We started getting into like more heavy music together. Then uh, I just saw they changed two guitarists. So mm -hmm. what I had in mind when I saw that is they are changing new members. So I just go up to Matt and say, hey, if you need a new drummer, you can just approach me. What, what year was it? I can't believe it. Man. This was in 2002, thereabouts. And we found the rest of the guys through like the internet, our friends. Um, when we came in, we decided that we're going to be a little bit more serious. I mean, we all acknowledge that it wouldn't be full-time professions, but let's seriously get down to writing better music since we all had an advantage of working in bands before. I think we started off as kids who just want to play music because we don't feel good about ourselves, I guess. To be perfectly honest, I think we were just trying to like fish around for like something that would look cool as an acronym at, for, at first. The situation that we were at were individually because like, we, we lead different lives like, but we have different problems and we weren't happy with ourselves and uh, the situation that we were at. Like. Actually, yeah, hence, the, hence the band name, yeah, A Vacant Affair, we felt that you know everything was very hollow. Actually, I think AV is still kind of cheesy, okay. but you didn't hear it from me. Of course. Yeah. What does being in, in this band like mean to you? Uh, it means to me more of a self-expression and like your own space. Because you, know, like, you have like your own daily routine, jobs and everything like that. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you just come together and just play music. It's sort of an outlet for heavy music for me because like um, Generally, I like dabbling in music. If you give me free time, I'd rather spend some time at home, like meeting a few friends to come over and jam out, rather than hang out and spend a lot of cash. To me, the band has always been family. I'm not afraid to say it, but I feel that music made me a more confident person. It made me a better person. Because I'm the sort of guy that, you know, I, I don't speak, speak up a lot, especially, the, you know, like things, uh, matters on my heart. Lah. Like what I think about things, you know, when, when I'm down or anything, you know, I don't really speak much, lah, except, except to my close friends. Lah. But it is through music that, you know, um, I learned that I'm never alone. There's always someone out there who feels the same or feels even worse. It's helped me move on from things that I thought, you know, I would never thought I would move on from, you know. And is playing music and being in a band uh, allowed me to meet a lot of my best friends right now. 